Hey there, it's Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. Now, the video you're about to watch is about S&P client Fraser. Now, before Fraser joined S&P, he was, he, he was really struggling. He was a little bit stuck, you see. He, Fraser had, used to train a lot in, in group sports. So he used to do it at school, at uni, and he'd just fallen out of the habit of doing so. So he had no one to train with. He had no accountability. And he basically resorted to looking for diet plans and, and training plans on the internet. He was really struggling. So watch the video right now. Go check it out. So can you please tell me your name, age and occupation? Um, I'm Fraser O'Neill, I'm 37 and I now work in IT for the Radisson Hotels. And um, could you tell me about before you joined S&P what you were doing training wise then? Um, when I was a lot younger through school and through my 20s I played lacrosse, that was my team sport. Um, once I started to get into my late 20s, the hotels and restaurant environments they kind of took my Saturdays away and I started to do less and less, more night shifts, less looking after myself. And <clears throat> then, I, then I'd do a bit, you know, I'd do a bit in the gym, mm -hmm. but not enough. And then more recently, I got married, got a desk job, and that's when it really fell away. Okay, so what are your reasons for joining S&P then? Uh, my reasons to join S&P was because I wanted to get fit again. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be... Um, able to kind of just run without any difficulty and I just felt that I didn't feel like I was overweight I realised now I was overweight um, but yeah I just wasn't getting the results I wanted mm -hmm. by going to the gym on my own And how did it make you feel that you weren't as active getting us a desk job as you were before how did that all make you feel It's uh, it feels Slow, it slowly changes over time that you don't realise that you're not as active. Mm -hmm. um, I went, you know, maybe a couple of times a week to the gym. Mm -hmm. I was missing having like a training partner or, you know, things like that. And you just kind of get lethargic and less inclined to go. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it just, just wasn't working for me really. Mm -hmm. um, so, what were your fears before joining S&P? What were your preconceived ideas of S&P? Fears? I don't really have any. <laughs> wow. Um, no, the reason I didn't have any fears be was because I'd been part of a team sport, I'd been part of that atmosphere, mm -hmm. and I was kind of missing it. And that's what I was... That's what I kind of got from the YouTube videos that I'd seen. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought that could be something I could really buy into. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wasn't really worried about it. I know a lot of people are, but mm -hmm. no, I, I, I was missing something. I was needed it, so that's why I came. Right, okay. And what did you, so tell me a little bit more about what you struggled with before you joined. So what did you need to change? I struggle with consistency. I didn't get to the gym on a regular basis. I didn't have a training plan. I didn't know what I was going to do. I'd run for maybe 30 minutes, then see what weights machines were available. I didn't, didn't really know what was going to help. I, you know, I'd looked on the internet for training plans, but then I'd get bored. Mm -hmm. And, oh, Everything outside of the gym I was struggling with, sleep, food, a lot. You don't, well, you don't really realise mm -hmm. until you turn the corner and think, oh, okay, that's, <laughs> that's yeah, how, how many things I was doing wrong before. So what were the reasons why you weren't consistent before going to a gym before? Why, what stopped you going? Well, there was no one to make you go. For um, I didn't have that kind of feeling that, oh, I'm going to go and meet someone mm -hmm. that way. I'd go and do it. And you just, well, you don't feel like it, do you? No. You finish work and you just think, nah, not today. Um, plus, you just, you just go to the gym and think, okay, what we're, what we're really doing here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were lacking in so motivation, but also just had like no proven plan, no idea of what you were doing when you were there. 
there was no goals. Mm -hmm. There was no, I didn't know what I was working towards or what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started S&P, we got into that kind of the circuits and it made me realize that I was trying to do like, for example, burpees. I could do 10 or 20 before really feeling that I was struggling. Mm -hmm. um, everything that like, like that kind of intensive, explosive fitness, I really struggled with. Mm -hmm. Because all, all I could do was run. You're um, very, your speedy Gonzales though, yeah. running, aren't you? You're probably the fastest well, runner at S&P maybe, I'd say. I'm, I'm not maybe the fastest, but I could probably keep going the longest. But right, yeah. okay. Um, I was always, a, you know, a distance runner. I could, you know, I could, um, but speed, well, S&P has actually probably helped. I can probably run a bit quicker now. Yeah. Um, but... Now I've been, I'm fitter than I ever thought I could be. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing fitness tests here and I'm just doing more and more. And that's what I wanted really, because I remember I signed up for a Tough Mudder and I could run around it, but I couldn't do half the obstacles. You know, I'd, I'd drop off the monkey bars after two. It's, it's an all round fitness that I've got now yeah. that I've never had before. And um, tell me about your physique. How has that changed since you joined? Well, you only have to look at some pictures from beforehand. Um, I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, I dropped down to about 72 kilos now, dropped down from near above 80. Mm -hmm. uh, my clothes, I didn't really realize, but I was hitting like a 36 inch waist before. Well, that was kind of a turning point as well when I had to start buying that kind of, those kind mm -hmm. of clothes down to 32 now and wear a small shirt, you know, <laughs> can buy small shirts. Right. Um, so the, yeah, the physique has really changed really. I mean, I'm doing the fit sessions, so it's more, I'm, you know, I'm not building muscle, but I'm just getting very lean. Mm -hmm. Like and a whippet, I'd say. You're yeah. very fast like a whippet <laughs> as well, definitely. <laughs> So do you, has it affected your, just your private life as well? Is it, maybe has your posture improved, do you think? Do you think maybe, or any other aspects of your private life? Um, the major thing about my private life is that my wife joined S&P with me. Um, and we've both had massive improvements. Mm -hmm. It's improved our life at home. You've got more energy. We do more stuff together. Well, just doing it together mm -hmm. has been really cool. Mm -hmm it's given us something that um, we've both really enjoyed. So you've still got goals. So you, you had the original goals and then you've achieved them and then you're setting new ones and new Absolutely. targets all the time. Well, I've been doing the fit for eight months mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of time before I switch to the strong now. Mm -hmm. Because, well, I've seen those strong guys and the results they get and now I want a piece of that. I think you're ready, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're ready to move. Um, so tell me what S&P means to you, please. S&P has given me back that kind of camaraderie I was missing from the team sport. Mm -hmm. um, it's a group that, you know, I come to six o'clock in the morning and we all know each other, we all push each other and we all just... We have a good time doing it. Mm -hmm. um, it's great that you see everyone progressing, and yeah, you, know, you just want everyone to like get to, you know get to the point where they're, they're hitting their goals, they're feeling as good as you are, mm -hmm. and it's it's amazing. I didn't think I could get that from a gym. Yeah. And tell me about the how S and P have helped you. So you, just your major breakthroughs. What would you say? you would pin it down to? I would say in the gym, I've always been able to follow direction and just get the job done. But S&P has really helped with everything outside the gym. Mm -hmm. The food, the, you know, just the, the, the little things you need to change to make yourself improve, you know, even sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just your general lifestyle. It's, Everything that you don't get to find out when you're working out on your own, mm -hmm. there's resources here that for everything you need to know. So I don't feel like I'm lost anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything 
uh, you know, everything's given to you. Mm -hmm. And you can just, as long as you follow the plan, you're almost guaranteed the results. Mm -hmm. And tell me about sleep. You've spoken about it a couple of times now. So what were, you, what were your sleep patterns like prior to S&P? Well, I just wasn't getting enough. Right. I didn't think that I needed enough. <laughs> um, I'd survive on, well, this is going back to working in hotels, I'd survive on coffee, Red Bull. You know, whenever you're feeling low, you just get that stimulant and then you'd be all right again. Mm -hmm. But five or six hours a night, isn't enough to recover. So right. now it's in PO. You know, I'm trying to get to a point where I've just got a regular pattern. I say you're quite tired after, by the evening after a 6 a.m. session. Do you have a good night's sleep that night specifically? Well, it's always the night before that you think I need to be in bed by nine o'clock. <laughs> um, and then I suppose when, you, when you've done the session, you've been up early, then it, you naturally start to feel like a bit more tired. Yeah. Um, I'm not mastered on the weekends yet. Right, okay. <laughs> you know, I still, well, you get the lion on the, on the weekend, don't you? Oh. Um, but I think five days a week, yeah. I'm putting it in. So you've nailed it five days a week, yeah. that's not bad. And a lion every so often, nothing wrong with that. Exactly. If you can, lion while you can. So. What would you say to someone considering joining S&P? If you're considering joining S&P, you really just need to make the effort and give it a go. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of people out there that might be worried about it, but it's not the kind of gym where everybody is all these big muscle bound guys or it's everyone's super fit. Everyone's on their own journey. You've got people that are barely able to run at all or do anything and they're just like, I need, I need the assistance, but the one, they're the ones that they've got here and they've been given everything they need mm -hmm. and now they're enjoying being part of the group. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be worried about. There's nothing to be scared of. And it doesn't matter what stage you're at, mm -hmm. just, you know, you'll fit in. And just tell me why you think S&P is so different to anywhere else? Well, it's a one-off. There's no other S&Ps. It's run by people that love what they do. They really have, you know, the most, they, they just really want you to succeed. And, you know, they'll look after each individual person. Mm -hmm. So, it doesn't matter, you know, that's, you know, everyone is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. They all need that little bit of coaching, but that's what, you've got people here, professionals that will do that for you. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't any other gym like it. Okay, so that was Fraser's story. Now, if you watched that story and anything really resonated with you, what I suggest you do right now is have a look around you on this page. You'll find, you should find a link on there. Click on the link, it'll take you through to an application form. And once you're there, if you fill out as much detail for us as possible, it'll really help us get into the detail and we're about to give you a call straight away to kind of find if we can really help you move forward and get an awesome transformation, okay? So do that right now and we'll speak to you soon. This is Z from S&P James Stockport saying take care, speak to you soon, bye-bye.